We have made it to the main event here, World Series of Fighting 24, and it is going to be John Fitch taking on Yushin Okami, two legends in the MMA world. Fitch, a young 37 years of age, 6 feet 170 and a 72-inch reach. And how about this? The 34-year-old Yushin Okami, 6'2". Folks, this is not a misprint. He weighed in at 170 pounds, 72-inch reach. As we take a look at the rules, the 10-point must system is in effect based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent. We are set to go. The main event, here is Jazz Securo. Your referee for this fight is Big Dan Mergliotta. John. All right, John, bring the rules in the locker room. Bring my commands at all time. Protect yourselves at all time. One punch gloves, do it now. Good luck to both of you. So two legends in the sport getting together, and one of them is going to get a shot at the title belt and Jake Shields in their next go around. Yushin Okami and John Fitch heard, here in the welterweight division, the main right, John, event of the night. This one's one scheduled for three. Let's go fight. Go down to your left. Good. Head movement right away. The last time Yushin Okami was in the 70s, he entered a tournament at 175 pounds, and he defeated Anderson Silva in that tournament. But the controversy was he won the match by disqualification. Anderson had kicked him while he was a grounded opponent, but he did get his hand raised. He's had a lot of success at this weight class, but he left it. When he went on his run in the UFC, he moved up to middleweight. I am very surprised that he's all the way down to 170 pounds. Frankly, he looks very good. He didn't look so great yeah. yesterday at weigh-ins, but he looks pretty good right now. I think that being a little lighter, he's certainly going to be faster. The question is, will he be as strong? Both these fighters have fought some of the very best in the industry. You look at John Fitch's resume and beating legends like Diego Sanchez, BJ Penn, Josh Berkman, Tiago Alves, Yushin Okami. Chael Sennett talked about it there, and here's John Fitch going for the first takedown of the fight. Okami stays on his feet up against the cage. There's not a lot of guys that have ever stuffed John Fitch's takedown. He's very good at it. Both of these guys have a little bit of a slower style. It's effective. It's grinding. They get their hands on you. They use their power. But at times, they're not as pleasing to watch because of that slow style. Now, guys, I'll remind you, Historically, when we put guys like that against each other, everything goes out the window. The, the, those opposites end, end up attra attracting, and you end up with some fireworks. So right here, we're seeing John Fitch work. Okami settling into this position. Okami's got a side whizzer. He's using that for balance. I would encourage him to take his free hand and begin striking with it. And we're lucky to have David Brass, the two division champion here in the World Series of Fighting, a man who beat Yushin Okami at World Series of Fighting 15 back in November of 14. So from your assessment, David, early on, Yushin Okami, does it look like that big weight cut has hurt him at all? Or do you think, like Chael said, he's going to be a lot faster? It looks like somebody put Yushin Okami inside of a sauna and locked away the key. I mean, he made the weight. He's here, and he's strong. He's, he's got that body lock now. And he's looking for those knees. He's got really good knees, really good jab, really good movement. Fitch is doing really well and just needs to keep doing what he's doing and get his back off the fence. Okami is strong, man. This is Okami's position, guys. This He will lock his hands in this body lock, and then he looks for an outside trip. He's not able to hook it because Fitch's foot is so close to the cage here. That's it. I trained with Okami every day for two years. I knew that move was coming, and I fell down to it at least once a day. John Fitch knows it's coming as well, and right now John Fitch is feeling the power and the strength of Yushin Okami. Fitch trying to posture his way around. Okami continuing with that body lock. All right, break. <laughs> separate. Hands up. Hands up. And Mergley out decides to separate him, get some fighting. That's got to go to the advantage of John Fitch. Yeah, I would think that's right. When Yushin gets his hands locked, it is a lot to deal with. Oh, yeah. Here, Yushin's looking for the exact same position. And we're starting to see a little of the size. Yushin, for, for anything else, does have a height advantage. And the taller guy, once he digs an underhook, can usually Keep push working. the smaller guy around the ring. By smaller, I just yes, simply mean shorter. Reminds me of a fight in the UFC a couple weeks ago. Josh Barnett took on Roy Nelson. Roy was about 30 pounds bigger, but Josh, because of the height and the positions, pushed him around like a Mack truck versus a Volvo. It's this high-level analysis here, Todd. I, I tell you, you, this is gold. You can't just get this anymore. This is verbal gold. 
Okami's found the same position. Guys, Prince, did you ever end up here with Okami? Did he ever get to this position and he, lock his hands around you? He did, you? he did. And what I did is I put my back up against the fence because you can't trip somebody down if their back is posted up against something. Which is exactly the strategy that, that Fitch is employed. But would you agree with me to the strength of Yushin Okami? Can, can oh. you attest for that oh as well? Oh my goodness, he is so strong. It's remarkable. And it also has to do with his height. He, he's about six foot two, which is tall for the middleweight class. So just imagine how tall he is for the welterweight class where he's at tonight. If Fitch is feeling that right now, it's frustrating. His 40th professional fight, Yushin Okami. And the 35th professional fight for John Fitch. So guys, you gotta think, as Shale pointed out, they're coming to the end of their career, both guys. Fitch 37, Okami just 34, with Jake Shields waiting possibly for a good date for that welterweight vacant belt. As Chael pointed out earlier, this is probably their last go round, their last really good chance to get a title belt. Yes, one guy will advance here, fellas, but the other guy will stumble. The other guy, the loser here really has, there's a lot to lose. Round two when we return. Back inside the Grand Theater, Todd Harris, Chael right, Sonnen, David two, Branch, two, and Joey Varner as we get set for round number two here in the welterweight division. The main event of the night, John Fitch on the right side of your screen in the black trunks, Yushin Okami in the gray trunks. Marked how much weight Yushin Okami has dropped down into that 170 class. He looks more like an Olympic swimmer than an MMA fighter with that many professional bouts. But this young man, strength to power ratio is Incredibly strong, but right now it is all John Fitch with the takedown. Well, Fitch needed that. He did next to nothing in the first round. Both of these guys in their careers have been criticized for being slow fighters. Now, Fitch did attempt that in the first round, but Yushin was just too strong. In the words of Mark Credit, he's tougher than a Waffle House steak. But Fitch went back to the well one more time, and this time it worked. Now he's got to do something with it. This is where the criticism comes in, and both of these guys are cognizant of it. David, you and I both know there are no Waffle House in the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. <laughs> that's some tough steak. <laughs> you know, that's some <laughs> tough steak. <laughs> Okami back up to his feet. Now, that's still scored for Fitch, though. Look, if, it ha if they have a slow fight, slow round here, Fitch is up by one, if you will. That's another staple of Yushin Okami is he will lead with that cross hand, lead with his back hand. Wow, Good great shot. sprawl. Fitch, great sprawl by Fitch. High level stuff here, and Fitch goes back to it once again. Maybe mistimed on that with Okami right against the cage. This time he pulls the legs out and gets the drop. Yeah, this is very hard to do. It's very rare that Okami is taken down in competitions or in training. Fitch got two of them here in the same round. Very difficult to Work take down. Way up. Walk your way up the body. And he's not moving, guys, with a real sense of urgency. Look, he's down. He's got his back against the fence. That's a great opportunity to use that, do what we call a wall walk. Come up to his feet, but Fitch has trapped his legs down. Okami's kind of stuck. Walk forward, walk forward. Trying to figure this one out, Yushin Okami. Not breathing hard. Looks to be in great shape. Asked him yesterday after Wayans how he felt. Was he ready for this one? He said he felt great. Gave me the big thumbs up. Not a man of a lot of words, but uh, he was happy to get to one of the buffets here and load himself up with some pasta. Well, not a lot of English. You know my mother almost shot him. Do you know that story? Oh, my. No, I'm not joking. I'm going to tell it real fast for the fans. I'll do it as quick as I can, but he stays at my mom's house. He lived there for almost two years. Well, he went back to Tokyo. When he returned to America, he didn't tell her he was coming. He showed up at 1 in the morning. He came into the house. The alarm was beeping and going off, and his she was yelling through her bedroom door, who's there? He didn't know what she was saying, so she grabbed her shotgun and went, Ch -ch -ch, and he yelled every word of English he knows. Hello, you should know Kami, thank you. Hello, you should know Kami. That is an honest to goodness true story. So what did we learn tonight here in Mash and Tucket? Don't ever show up at the Sun and Residence unannounced. Or, nope. or say your name when Mama asks who's there. Attack. Wow. That's it, now, Fitch just has a basic cradle right here. This is a high school move, very common in college. Fitch was a wrestler at Purdue University. This is a cradle. He's not going to be able to finish a fight here, but he is going to be able to hold Yushin here. 
Yeah, Yushin's got to break Fitch's lock before he can do anything else. Once again, a bit of a stalemate, and as our referee, Big Dan Mergliotti, has shown in past fights, he doesn't have a lot of patience for this. He's going to probably stand up quickly. David Branch, if you're on the corner and you're Yushin are you hoping now for a stand-up, or are you just trying to hold your form here and hopefully not get choked out or lose any major points? Definitely hoping for a stand-up. Yushin needs to keep this on the feet because uh, Fitch is looking like his old self right now. So John Fitch just tying up Yushin Okami here. I think Yushin's going to come out with a reversal here, guys. If he can free his head, if he can get his head up, he's going to come out on top of Fitch. It may be too little too late, but there is an opportunity to steal around if he can get free and do some damage. One thing Fitch did not do while he was dominating position was damage. And David, as you know, these guys have been criticized throughout their career yes. for this very thing. Yes, definitely. Okami's definitely got good ground in mind. Final 25 seconds of this fight here in the welterweight division for the vacant belt. The winner of this fight meets Jake Shields. And this is just round two of three, but this is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu case of Twister taking place right in front of you live here on NBCSN. This one's going to go to the third and final round, and someone's going to have to impose their will. You'll see it live when we return to Mashantucket, Connecticut for the third and final round. I want to remind you the schedule for the World Series of Fighting looks like this. November 20th, we are back in Phoenix, Arizona, the Comerica Theater. It's the eight-man lightweight tournament. And then December 18th, World Series of Fighting 26 from the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. What a way to wrap up your 2015. What other excuse do you need to want to go to the Cosmo? Come on, Phoenix Vegas, come and on. Vegas to wrap up when it's cold and chilly out east? Eight-man tournament. Could literally be the last one of those you'll see. Third and final round here of our main event. John Fitch in the black trunks being pressured by Yushin Thunder Okami. And once again, a scramble back to the mat. Side wow. control going the way of Fitch. Big deal right there. Very big deal. In round two, this is essentially what happened. A takedown right over on this side early, and Okami never got out of it. That's it. Get the I think they are one working. round apiece right now. It's all going to come down nice. to this third round. And if Okami can't get off nice the bottom, we can just fade the black and roll the credits now, boys. <laughs> David Branch, do you think Jake Shields is home watching live on NBCSN, wondering which of these characters he's going to face off for that welterweight belt? Absolutely. I do it all the time. Beat the legs, John. Lock the hands. That's a great scramble right there. Okay. Tommy gets free. Right away, John. John's corner telling him right away, but there's a, a lot of energy John used to get that takedown and, and come back up here. Three and a half minutes, and you're one step closer to a title with just Jake Shields, and I say just, one of the best in the business standing in your way. So both these fighters, a sense of urgency because Chael Sonnen and David Branch, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see a clear-cut winner at this point. I think you can make a case for either fighter. I really think uh, whoever wins this round is going to win this contest. I believe they're one apiece. Definitely. Fitch is trying to solidify that with this takedown right now. Not the pace we saw when we came on the air in the flyweight division with the Bulatov and Freelo. They went at it hard for five rounds, and it was a scramble every single second of that one. This one, a little bit more of a chess match because I think they both respect each other and they know what each other can do, so every move is very calculated. Yeah, I think that's right. And, and Okami just isn't isn't showing the urgency to get up. Nice. I don't. I think perhaps he's a little bit worn down. We talked about that weight cut earlier, guys. That's a real thing. Fitch puts a very good pace on you, but it looks to me as though Okami is conceding these positions a little bit. Taylor Hatch just doesn't have the energy. Does one of these guys do better against a guy like Jake Shields? Does Fitch have a better chance of beating him, or Yushin Okami have a better chance? They do. They do have a history. Uh, uh, Jake Shields fought Yushin Okami and defeated him. He grappled John Fitch and submitted him. So uh, Jake Shields has wins in combat over both of these guys. But Fitch has always been mad about it. Always thought he could do better in a fist fight than he did in that grappling tournament. Jake Shields is one of the greatest grapplers out there. No question about it. 
Well, that belt is vacant because Husmar Pagliares has some infractions in his fight with John Fitz. There was the eye gouge holding on to the hold after the tap was in, and commission decided to strip him of that title, so it becomes vacant in the welterweight division. And Ray Cepho, Ali Abdelaziz have decided that the winner of this fight will take on Jake Shields, so that belt will have a home. Something had to be done there yeah. with Husamar yeah. Pelharis. It was, it was, I mean, And it wasn't seven just that one times. case. Yeah. Now, Yushin seems to think he has a guillotine here. I'm not seeing it. David, what do you think? Well, he needs to keep getting on his left hip and uh, start creating a, a better angle. It'd be good if he started to get a butterfly hook, too, to, so he can start to create that angle a little bit better. And, and are you thinking he should try to finish this or look for a reversal? He no, he's pulling like he's got something. Yeah. I'm just not seeing it. I don't see it either. I would have definitely put a butterfly hook in there to get the reversal. Well, if John Fitch had some product in his hair, whoop, he slipped right out of that He one. popped right out of that thing. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, David. I saw oh, the, yeah. the grimace on Yushin's face like he was yeah. pulling his. Oh, I get it. We're doing bald jokes. No, oh, no, I get no. it. Stop. I get it now. See the hair. Here we go. You don't have any exactly. hair. Exactly. Here we go. By choice. You understand what he's doing? <laughs> you, you got the humor? All right. Final 30 seconds of this one, the third and final round. John Fitch, Yushin Okami. Which man will reign supreme and look to take on Jake Shields? Someone's got 20 seconds to do some work. John Fitch just does what John Fitch does, and that is he, he smothers opponents and keeps a great pressure. And that will do it in Connecticut. We'll be back with the official decision. Will it be Fitch or Okami? We'll find out live on NBCSN. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Eric Colon scores at 20 to 9 to 28. Judges David Torelli and David Ginsburg score at 30 to 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, John Fitch.